Well, the Santa Ana winds are kicking, leaving us nothing but clear skies over Dodger Stadium in L.A. Today, it's the rubber match of this three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the Los Angeles Dodgers. It's time for Dodger baseball. Next. Just a perfect afternoon for baseball. 80 degrees under clear blue skies. He's hitting over 300 against Southpaws, and he's facing another one of those today. I'm sure he's excited to hit in this one. Standing in, Christopher Rizzolo. First shot for him here as he enters play, currently leading the senior circuit in batting. The windup and the 0 1. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Back goes Taylor, and that one is gone. So a solo shot here to left center field, number 14 on the season, as the Marlins will take a one to nothing lead. Right now, he can't wait to get to the plate against this pitching staff. Four home runs in this series. Bet he wishes he could play these guys every single day. Marlins are on the board first thanks to the solo home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's now 1 0 Miami. Digging in for his second at bat, Christopher Rizzoldo. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Here he comes again, one, two. And a hanger as he gives this one a pretty good ride out to deep center. Taylor is under this one. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain, a home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center, his second home run of the game, and the Marlins have taken a two to nothing lead. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. One for the Marlins on the solo shot. We play two and a half. It's now two nothing Miami. You know Matty I know he's in the final year of his contract but he's playing to expectations and this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field a leap but he can't bring it back into the park it's a home run. And the Dodgers are within a run. It's now two to one. He's going to have to go after one of these guys. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts at the bottom of the fourth. Yasiel Puig waiting next. And he lays off there ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out just off the corner and I mean just off the corner. Oh and he can't pick it up cleanly. Oh man he just muffed that throw. No other way to explain it. Looked like it caught him in the heel of the glove instead of the pocket so he's going to get hit with a fielding error as a result. That was just a good job of laying off that pitch. Back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And to score from third, the tying run. And they won't push things here as they'll hold the second runner at third. So they're loaded now with still nobody out. So make him 0 for 1 so far. This is skied into short left center. Mabin moving in. He gets to it. And oh, he botched it. Throw into third. And they'll get the man at third here at least, but in the interim, a run has come in to score. So it's two runs on just one lone hit, one error, and two men left on base. We played four full. The Dodgers lead it 
three to two. Christopher Rizzoldo will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Gone! So a solo shot here to left center field, his third home run of the ball game, and the Marlins have come back to tie things at three. Well, talk about having a day. Three home runs in one game. We've heard about the hat trick in hockey, but it's awfully hard to do that in a baseball game. Marlins able to knock things up on the solo home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. We're tied now with three apiece. As he is. Hard on the ground towards short. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. From down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves over to third now. The 0 and 1 delivery. Oh, and he's hit by the pitch. And that'll be a painful run batted in. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. It's a run on two hits here for L.A. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Dodgers lead this one four to three. Christopher Rizzoldo will stride in again as he looks to join a very elite list. We take you back to earlier. This was home run number three in the ball game as he'll try and join just a select few with four home runs in a single game. Here's the one one. Bullet back up the middle. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. So the Dodgers trying to close this one out in front of the home crowd here at Dodger Stadium as you get a look there at our line score through the first seven plus. Game, he's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Utley now will hit for second. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Line drive to center field. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And the runner will score from second. Taylor takes the turn at third. He wants it all. Safe at the plate. And it's now 6-3. to three. So it's two runs here on two hits, with one of them being the home run. We've played eight full. L.A.'s on top, 6-3. to three. From the stretch, here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Taylor. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. 6-3, to three, the final score today. The Los Angeles Dodgers jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Number 46 gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Kenley Jansen wraps it up for the save, his fifth of the year. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.